A Wabash Valley-based college honored an anniversary Friday, which came as a result of a major and tradition-breaking decision. Rose Holman became a co-ed campus in 1995. News 10's Mike Clef has more on Rose Holman's 20th co-ed move-in day. Biology major Ariel Bonner experienced the back-to-school stress that most Rose Holman students experienced Friday, the typically time-consuming move-in day prior to the start of the fall semester. I'm already starting to miss my folks, even though they haven't left completely yet. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm happy with the room. I'm happy the staff has been great helping me um, know where places are and get me around. Ariel Bonner is just one reminder of a monumental move-in day on the Rose Holman campus 20 years ago. That's when the highly regarded college transitioned from a campus of entirely males to a co-ed campus. Bonner is quite aware of Rose Holman's past and greatly approves of the college's current co-ed standing. I find it thrilling that we can do, uh, we can do this and have um, more, more people to talk to. I mean, if you have only one gender, then you have a limited um, ability of ideas. And doing it with two genders, that way you can have even more um, variety. For Bonner, she's just grateful to have the opportunity to get a degree from a college that has a lengthy and proven track record. I'm thrilled and I, I'm looking forward to what I can see and do with, um, with, the, with Rose. They, they seem to turn out great students and they've done a lot. I'm happy to do this. On the campus of Rose Holman with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Mike Clef, News 10. St. Mary the Woods College voted last May to have a co-ed campus in which males can start living on the Pomeroy's campus in the fall of 2016.